In this video, we are going to cover the very important topic of when to exit your trade. Let's assume you followed all the rules so far. So you've used the scanners properly. You've identified which stocks to trade. You've used the MTFT and you've taken a trade and it's going in your direction. Now, when do you exit? This is where the custom RSI indicator comes in. You can stay in a winning trade longer. Very often what we all do, it's human nature, is we tend to cut our winners uh, short and hold on to our losers. This is general human tendency. There's nothing to uh, be ashamed of. Uh, this is how uh, you know, we all behave. However, when you have visual indicators that tell you when to get in, when to get out, it makes the decision a no-brainer decision. And so let's take a look at custom RSI. I'll give you a brief uh, explanation here. Uh, the normal RSI is tells you overbought and oversold conditions. However, this particular RSI has been customized and it is customized to show persistence. So which means you want to stay in a winning trade as long as possible. The custom RSI works perfectly with both the MTFT as well as the SPX ticks. Now we haven't looked at the SPX ticks. We'll do that in the next video, but it works very well. It confirms a great trade entry point. It confirms a great trade exit point. So now let's go into the platform and look at custom RSI and how it works for all three of our environments, which is day trading, the short term swing trading, and then the long term investing plan. Let's look at these three examples and see how custom RSI would have told you when to come out of the trade. First, we are going to look at the SPX example from yesterday. We saw this example earlier. We saw that in the first half of the day, we had a nice bullish trade going. And then in the second half of the day, we had a much, much better bearish trade going. The indicator custom RSI is right below the MTFT. So let's zoom in on the first half of the day first, which is uh, all of this part right here. And let's see what custom RSI would have shown us. So assuming you would have gotten into this trade somewhere here uh, on at this level, you can see that the custom RSI is in the bullish zone. The normal RSI would have told you that this is an overbought condition. However, this indicator has been customized. Now it's been customized to show persistence. So once the custom RSI goes into the bullish zone and it's moving higher, it's telling you to stay in the trade. It's telling you to stay in the trade. If you had to come out here, you could have. You can see that there is one red dot, but that's not enough. So between the MTFT and the custom RSI, you have to make a decision there. You're only seeing one red dot on the MTFT. It's not time to come out. And the custom RSI falls into the neutral zone. It's not bearish. It's, fall, it's fallen into the neutral zone. But very soon, within three or four minutes, it goes back into the bullish zone and you're still all the way in this trade perhaps this is where it briefly enters the bearish zone and that's good enough you can you can take the trade off if you got into the trade here 4515 and you would have been in the in this trade till about 4525 about or rather yeah somewhere here which would be about 10 points on the spx and once again if you want to take these smaller trades you can this is also a trade for about 10 15 minutes or so this one goes on for about I would say uh, 20 minutes or so. So if you got in on this uh, bar right here, you would still be in this trade all the way till this point when it enters the bearish zone. So the custom RSI is customized to tell you that you are in a bullish zone or a bearish zone and you want to stay there until the custom RSI changes. So now once again, you see there's a nice little bull run over here where you have only one red dot. So that would be somewhere from here onwards, you would go and you would stay in this trade all the way till about here. Almost till the, you know, you're almost picking the top exactly. You're not, you're not picking it exactly because you would have come out when the custom RSI went into the bearish zone, which is over here. So you, you got it all the way till about five minutes uh, after the trend change, you would have been out of this trade. Now let's take a look at the second half of the day. And here is where also it is a extremely helpful indicator because if you got into the trade somewhere here, when you see when you see all five are aligned and from there, you can see the custom RSI briefly goes out over there. And even if you exit it, that's fine. Uh, you know, you can uh, always get back in. And once you saw this again, your the, uh, the trend is starting to develop and it's going deeper and deeper. And that's telling you that 
you know, you want to stay in this trade. The MTFT is telling you there's only one dot that is not aligned. That's fine. And you want to go all the way till about here. Here the custom RSI goes into the bullish. So maybe that's the time you exit. So once again, we saw this. This was about a 50 point move on the uh, SPX and custom RSI allows you to stay in this position for as long as possible. So this is how it would work in a day trading environment. Now let's take a look at the other environments as well. Here we are looking at our short term swing trading. So which was a trade of about two weeks, three weeks, something like that. So you can see that last year around September, we entered a bearish mode. And of course, there were some bull runs over here. But if you were, uh, let's say you were in this trade for about a week or two weeks, you can see the custom RSI also is uh, persistent over there. So let me move it back and we can zoom in and, and check this out. So here this trade would have lasted you about eight to nine days. This trade would have lasted, uh, I would say about 13 to 14 days because it doesn't include weekends. So this is once again, your custom RSI is showing persistence. And until you see this change, there is no need to come out of the trade. So there's two ways you can look at it. If the MTFT shows a clear change in trend, which is two or more rows going the other way, you want to exit the trade. Or if the custom RSI goes from bearish to bullish, you want to exit the trade. So between the two, they work together very, very well. And you can see that whenever you see the MTFT and the custom RSI is aligned, that's obviously even more higher probability for your trade. So let's continue over here. You can see that little choppiness all over this place. So most importantly, these indicators also tell you when not to take a trade, because if you're seeing a bunch of reds and greens, you don't want to take a trade. You want to see either all greens, you want to see all reds, whatever the case might be, but you want to see a trend. And that's what these indicators help you to do. So once again, here, there's a little bit of choppiness and you can see the price action. It's all quite choppy over here. Here you have a little bit of a run. That's uh, that's about it. And then you, you have another bear run here. And if you look at uh, this is a nice little run on the on the SPX, right? Starting from here, you could have gone till about here when you see two or more dots. And of course, sure enough, custom RSI also dips into the bearish right after that. So and then there's a little bit of choppiness here. You can see two, uh, two or more uh, rows that are not aligned. So you don't want to take the trade. Now, this is a nice trade right here. Custom RSI also enters into the bullish zone and you see a green uh, over here maybe and or over here, whichever the case might be. But this would have taken you from an SPX level of 42.11 all the way till about, I would say till this one, which is about 44. So that's the that's the one we saw earlier also. This is a 200 point move on the S&P. So this is how you would use the custom RSI for a swing trading environment. Now let's quickly look at the long term as well, which is going to be quite similar, except the time frames are longer. So you have more conviction in your trade. You cannot, you don't want to be thrown out of your trade quickly. So let's go back to the SPX and you can see some nice trends here, you know, from here onwards uh, up until here, when you see two dots, you come out. And then there was another nice run from here, which is a level of about 4178 all the way to uh, 4200. We saw that earlier. Let's take a look at another stock. Let's say, uh, take another look at Tesla. So Tesla of late has been sort of bearish or other. It's, it, uh, there's no signal there. So you don't want to get into Tesla at this point. You know, it needs to show a clear trend. But before this, you saw that Tesla was very bullish from here all the way and if you saw the two dots over here, but the custom RSI really doesn't tell you that you should be getting out of the trade. So even though you see two dots, if you want to be safe, you come out of the trade, no worries. But if you were hang in there, you would have gotten a little bit more reward. Let's take a look at another uh, stock right here. Apple Apple has been bullish, uh, except for the last uh, couple of we you know, a week or so, uh, it's been bearish. But otherwise, you had some fantastic runs on Apple also all the way going back uh, to last year, really. I mean, you had some fantastic runs. Look at this one from about here, which is uh, 151. It goes all the way and the custom RSI is in the bullish zone uh, all the way till about here. And if you wanted to get out of the trade here, when the custom RSI dips, that's fine. But on the MTFT, it is still only one dot. So you could have remained in this trade till about uh, till about here, when you see two dots, that's the time to come out. There's no point in taking the risk on the trade. The indicators have 
given you the best possible uh, information, which is when to get in and when to get out. And if you're capturing 80% of the move, 85% of the move, that's a fantastic trade. Sometimes these indicators might change very quickly depending on the price action. But the good thing is the indicators will tell you that, that the trend is changing. So you might have gotten into a trade and two days later, things have changed. So that's okay. You're going to have a couple of losing trades, but when you can maximize the number of winning trades and then on those winning trades, if you can maximize the profit, that's what it's all about. It's a numbers game and these indicators help you stay in a winning trade as long as possible. So you've seen all of these indicators. Uh, you've seen uh, how to identify the trading candidates, how to get the proper trade entry. And then now you're seeing how to get the exit as well. There's another indicator which is very specific to the SPX. It's called the SPX ticks. We'll take a look at that indicator also in the next video. But that only applies for day trading the SPY or the SPX options. It's a day trading indicator, but it gives you some very powerful information about what's going on in the market on that particular day. So we'll be taking a look at that as well. Thanks.